Hello everybody and welcome back to another game of F the Lord Plays Go. Um, here we're playing today on KGS. We're playing a bit of a custom game just because it's a bit quicker time settings. I, could, I wanted to bust out two games today, so yeah, let's just get to it. So I hope that Black doesn't freak out that I'm mirroring him at the moment, but that's not my intention. So let's just attach over here. And then we'll pull back and see what he does. Yeah, okay. And then I don't like letting black get e17, so I'll extend here. So pretty standard, normal uh, opening. Um, you can do something with this move. Like, I remember, like, c6 was something that I'd play a lot just to stop black from getting a big area over here. But I'm not so afraid of black these days. Um, so I can think of either r5 or... Let's play R5 and see if he plays some kind of pincer. I want more practice with that. No. So then I'll just play R8. Standard response. Oh, that's quite interesting. Um, so I can play away because technically it's safe, but I think this is... Yeah. So, okay. Um, and then I can attach on the top to try and make those over concentrate, but it just makes black a lot stronger, so I'm just going to play this way. Yeah, so this is the kind of player who's got try gonna try and uh kill or attack the this side group, so I can just play here and be safe. It's a bit slack, but it's fine. Um and here black doesn't it's kind of weird because black wanted to get more influence. I was thinking black maybe black wanted to build here, but uh J3 doesn't show any kind of intention of doing that. Um so far I'm playing a pretty territorial game. Um I can come to the corner, but uh Normally my rule is I don't want to take more than three corners, but this way I don't really consider myself as having this corner here. Um, I guess with having this move, it's a bit di more difficult to invade here. So yeah, black is a more territorial player, so I don't know why uh, R6 or Q6... I guess you can't judge from just a couple of moves, but this side seems bigger, so I'm just going to play here. And then we can consider attaching. And just the usual. I guess I shouldn't accelerate to his pace here. So just taking it nice and slow. And then extending here is basically necessary. So it is kind of weird because this is... Oh no, you shouldn't play both uh, O16 and uh s17 um to the best of my understanding um i guess it's just because black takes gote here but so i'm not sure what to do on this board so i think i'll just play this turn here and try and build up over here or i can just take territory um but there aren't like a lot of really interesting points on the board so i guess it's just a matter of playing a move that's big um so what's big right now I guess this is would have been a good like post Joseki kind of move, um, or I guess this move does put some pressure on these stones. But I guess I can play here because Black never did. Um, that would be pretty good shape for White. Let's just play over here. I worry that black is too solid, and so this move doesn't, like, threaten anything. I wonder about taking this move, but let's just play here. And then... Yeah, let's get the shape point. I don't want to keep pushing from behind, because, yeah, not so great. Um, and I guess uh, the shoulder hit will become necessary. I can... I, I'm a bit more dubious of invading, so let's just play here. And then I can't I don't have any stones around, so I'll play more lightly. Um this is fine. And then I can play some kind of like I can play this, setting up some kind of ladder, but nothing really works. Um so I'll just connect solidly. And then maybe uh black L3. Yeah, that's okay too. 
except I do get an extra move. I think that's slightly good for white. But it's okay. There's nothing else to kind of do here, so uh, I have this heavy group, so let's give it shape. So I think that Black's 06 and Q6 moves were wasted a little bit. Um, and do I have a lot to fear from Black here? Say I play this way, Atari, and then play over here? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, and then even if, I think that S18 in the corner will be almost alive, basically. Um, if Hane, then that can be difficult. I can play this, yeah, but it still has a ladder. Um, I mean, I can play this move, that's less aggressive. Um, so do I think that the cut's really a problem? Say he extends, and I extend, then cut, then Atari down. Yeah, so I can play this move, and at the very- so I'm alive in the corner, and as long as I can do that, Black's under a lot of pressure, so I think that's too deep. Well, that's interesting. Um, I can try and split, but then Black can treat this stone lightly. That's kind of the point of this kind of jump. So... Just keep Black surrounded. And then this kind of B12 move is still a little bit annoying. The stronger that I am here, the more this D12 stone is difficult to handle. Okay, that's interesting, but you can't treat every move lightly forever. Um, so I can just descend and just take a lot of points here. So that's something that I think I'll do. Interesting. But if this is true, then you're short on liberties and you can't escape. Because the corner is quite strong. It's fine if black play if black lives. I just the intention was to put him under a lot of pressure. I want to play this Atari move now, but I don't know if he will try to break out into the center. So I can play I guess it's not so important since I think I'm strong enough here to handle it anyway. I want to play a move like M18, but then I think that this is too thin over here, so I'm gonna have to reinforce this, I think. Yeah, and then black can easily live with M18, but I'm connected, so then I can take Sente. Yeah, let's do that. And that doesn't threaten anything, so I'm just going to invade here. Wow. Just letting me take it. Up to here is standard. Cutting is not big. Because I get that move in Sente, there are no defects here, and now I can just deal with this stone. So this makes points, and I threaten a cut. Even if white black connects, this group is still floating, so I can think about attacking it now. So, say a move like this. But I don't think I'll really be able to kill black. Um, but maybe I can make some points over here. Ah, more points than I already did, because I got, uh, got to connect for free. Yes. So I must respond to that, also. But this just makes white stronger, that doesn't help black at all. Black was already alive, and there are no cuts here. 
Um, I guess there is this peep. Um, I can just connect solidly. This is kind of dangerous, actually. Um, so let's say I play this knight's move. If cut, then I can try and uh, just net. So I play these two. Yeah. So I think I can definitely resist. I shouldn't respond forever. This ladder good for black. So at the very least, if black tries to cut here, then this one, this one, and then also good for oh no, good for white. So let's extend one more time. There's a connection here, but then I don't want this group to get too weak. Um, so I can stay connected over here, which seems reasonable, but then Black will get the Hane over here. Cutting is still looking difficult, so I'll just play this, and then I'll probably have to connect or something. Yeah, and now... We'll just jumping out, but let's just connect. And then let's make sure that I'm solid here. Because I worry that I can become weak. Not anymore though. So one, two. And then one, two, three, four, yeah. This isn't doing anything. So let's just continue over here um, because now I think that things will become more difficult for black. Yeah. Can I connect? Mm, yeah, it is a bit thin over here. But that's still one eye. But I'll have to worry about this stone here. If all this is true, then I should just Tanuki, I think, because... Um, well, maybe not. Uh, yeah, this one doesn't work, so here. I should have played like a diagonal or something like that. Oh well, but I don't think... So n now it's a matter of... Um, yeah, is, is black weak? Or is white weak, rather? White always has an eye here. So... It is a matter of getting that second eye. Does black have any more weak groups? I don't think so. So we can pressure a little bit. So if I play here, then I always have an eye. I can always make an eye with h13, and then I can make another eye in the center. So yeah, I'd say that the fight is over, and we can now just take points.
Nya connected. And I, then I don't think that stone is important. Yeah, okay. But if I extend, then that's just a net. Connect and yeah, there's, there's, that's good for white even. So now I don't even have to take time to be alive. And I can look at playing S3 next. Maybe black will start trying to invade this corner here, but I think it should still be strong enough to withstand that. If I extend, then this one. So just play here, be alive. And I can still cut here, but I think this is bigger. I can just capture that. Why would you play this P? I think that there's a little bit of a weakness here. Say there's a black wedge, then Atari, and then Atari. So I think it's okay as long as I play something like this, which kind of sets it up anyway. Mm. Mm. I want to be more fancy, but shouldn't be. Because I can play again, but I don't think that, you know, I think this wedge is still really annoying. Yeah. But if black is going to always respond to me like this, then I'm just going to win. Um, this is pretty important still. Connect. And I'm looking at like F2 or something. Or even R2 looks pretty big. Oh, that's so slow. I don't know if there was actually anything there. I don't think so. Okay, uh, now there is a lot less corner shenanigans. And white made more points. So then let's play this one. More corner points, and it's Sente. Yeah, okay. And then where else can we play a move? This is important. And playing S18 is also important. Makes move. Ah, E18 e is good move uh, for Gote. Let's play this one. More corner points. Have to be a little bit aware, but not much. Ah. Ah. There's no cut here. Well, I guess we can play here. Looks like there could be, it seems like, area for big points again. Okay, the corner is solid, so yeah, I think uh, white is one.
Mm -hmm. I guess maybe I can aim for this group here now. Or maybe the stone. So over here, say black plays extension, then over here, this one, here, and then yeah, that's a capture. No, it's white captured rather. So this one, and yeah, now black should respond. But what if this one? Uh, I don't want to. Um, so this one here, Atari, Atari, connects, and yeah, not quite enough liberties. Mm -hmm. Don't think I should be able to kill these stones, but black looks kind of thin. Uh, well, no, here. Yeah, I don't think so. But uh, black shouldn't play, black needs to play uh, M9. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. And yeah, and then I can't disconnect any of this. But let's just keep playing endgame then. Um, this is Sente. Um... This is troublesome for luck. Well, I, I removed some of the shenanigans. That doesn't really do anything. Let's remove some of the Aji here as well. Okay, that's Sente. So now I have two eyes here regardless, even though I have an eye already. And this is an... Another one. And that's not a lot of points, so it's Tanuki again. Atari. So yeah, I have to I get to capture the stone now, because otherwise um Atari connect Atari. So then I can capture this stone, and maybe even take Sente, because black might even connect. Mm -hmm. Atari. And then this is Sente. This is Sente. Over here. Maybe something can happen over here. Need to be careful. 
So let's eliminate any counts of BS. Oh, I could have played D13 instead. And 19 is also a better Gote move. Here. This move, I think it's okay. Connect. Ah, oh, it happened again. Maybe he doesn't see it. saw it. Okay, the game's even. <sighs> it's so frustrating to lose games like this. I still won by a couple of points, oh my goodness. Lucky, lucky. So I need to stay focused till the end of the game. Always those uh, taking one's own liberties. All right, so I'll see you all in the review. All right, so let's go over this game. Um, so far, everything looked okay. Um, this is this would be uh, labeled as a review as a mistake by any uh, stronger players, but um, I, it's not that bad. Like Black doesn't lose that many points as I was expecting, um, but the way how White reacted was quite okay. Um, the AI prefers to play lighter shape at, say, um, A or B or something to that extent, but connecting here was okay, and then jumping. So this is the first kind of mistake. Um, although this move is technically okay, um, the AI just prefers uh, protecting this cutting point here. So you can expect something maybe like this. Um, or, for instance, uh, black can play over here, and then try and sacrifice this stone. Um, but uh, this is the kind of idea. This is still kind of okay, um, and even playing up to here is all right. But the issue is that when white comes to tries to come through here, um, I was thinking that black would be worse, but actually black lives quite well um, here, and so this was a big success for black. I guess the big issue is that 
this is white's area and so black didn't just eke out living there was actually some decent territory here and the issue is that now this doesn't work so if i come out here um you might expect something like uh how, how would you expect something to happen i can't remember uh yeah so like this um here and here so, so descend and then come up here um there's not even a co and then it's quite difficult for uh yeah, it becomes a bit difficult for white. So I, I, I guess um, maybe this still wouldn't have been the best, but at the very least, playing over here, um, yeah, descending here instead of uh, just playing here. It seems that there's actually an option here, which I didn't realize that there was. Um, both players, to be fair. So yeah, the big mistake was then playing this. Um, let's see, and then we go a little bit. Um, and there are some better ways how white could have handled the weak group. So up to here... Countering a couple times is okay, but eventually white has to come back. Um, AI even recommends to come back earlier now, but um, let's see. And then uh, I was too lax with black here. So um, I was thinking maybe this would have worked, but this still kind of reverts to something very similar to the game. Um, so I was thinking I should have played it close to me, but it didn't make, make that much of a difference. Um, and then, yeah, so here the same kind of thing. So... Uh, Let's see, this was the mistake, and so instead playing uh, here, black might try and capture, and then play here, and then uh, this is Sente, so white has to play here, or black has to play here, and then, uh, yeah, so it still seems like uh, black is unsettled, because there's not really an I uh, at A or at B, so playing like this would have been much better. Um, let's see... So up here, this was these were good exchanges for white for sure. Um, I guess maybe black could play this wedge here right away because this was something that I was worried about uh, later in the game. So yeah, something like this. But at the same time, I guess uh, I mean can't really cut. So here and then here, white connects up a lot more easily. So I guess maybe it's not such an issue at this point, but definitely later when black has more stones, and that's more uh, worrisome. But yeah, basically from this point on, um, white is white starts leading by points, basically, because black's moves were just quite slow ter from a territorial perspective, and so white was just leading. Um, and so it all comes down to later in the game, where, um, let's see... So here I kind of knew that there was mis that there was that there were weaknesses. So playing T11 would have made things more secure. Um, and then even I think as I played S12, I didn't note to myself that there could be a possible weakness if these two liberties were filled. So I guess what I need to start doing is having towards the end of the game have a look at the shape and then have a look at what liberties are on the outside and what happens when those liberties are filled. And I think like if I asked had asked that question. Then when blacks when we started reaching end game and we were feeling like I was even thinking oh I can play uh, not like this I was thinking I could even play here and then play here but there's still already this issue so um, I had to yeah ask myself what the shape would look like with the liberties filled um, and then act accordingly and then even if I I shouldn't have played let's see here I shouldn't have connected so quickly I should have seen that this is sente and then played here. But the reason why I didn't ask that question is because I didn't I didn't realize that if the liberties were filled. I mean, like this, the shape is very like, it's not like, like the way how uh, like you might be taught this is that um, they'll say you, like, look, is this hard to read? No. So if it's not, it's not, that means I. Some people would say, oh, my reading here is bad, but that's not a reading problem; it's an intuition problem. Um, and I think the intuition that I was lacking was that I thought that after I played. I felt kind of secure after I played a, a T12, and then I, I didn't investigate the shape further, and I probably should have. So let's, I hope that this is something that I can, I, I start doing more. Um, yeah, I think this is quite important because in the past, when I'd come to these kinds of mistakes, I wouldn't intellectualize it as much as I do now, um, or at least say like, what was my thinking and what could I have thought differently? Um, so I hope that that helps a little bit. Uh, I think at the moment I've played a lot of games, and so what that means is that my play is quite good, and when your play is pretty good, it means that, uh, in my experience, when you're making these kinds of mistakes, that means you're playing a little bit above your level, but um, not necessarily that you are there yet. So there are these, there are these kind of like 
minor details that you need to that you need to like understand before you really step further and until you really get them down then you'll face these cases again and again luckily um it means that these are the kinds of cases i need to face in order to move ahead so uh yeah hopefully they keep coming more and then maybe um i should keep keep an eye out um i i realize as well that when you're playing the game like at every step there's something that you should be focus on focusing on um so here for instance i sh uh should have been focusing on uh, basically making the game less complicated. I, I kind of I kind of knew, but at the same time, yeah, things I can be doing better. Anyway, so um, I hope you enjoyed this review and the game. Um, if you like this content, then like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next game.